In 1971, Intel introduced the world's first microprocessor, the Intel 404. It was smaller than a fingernail and slower than the cheapest kid's toy calculator you can buy today, but it sparked a revolution. Just 15 years later, microprocessors powered the personal computers that landed on nearly every office desk and living room table worldwide. They automated spreadsheets, balanced company books, and made the word processor a game changer for how we worked and communicated. In short, they turned 15 years of innovation into an explosion of productivity and prosperity. But here's the kicker. We're on the brink of another technological revolution, a leap so profound that it doesn't just enhance our current tools but redefines the limits of computation. Interquantum computing. Conceived in the early 1980s, this technology has evolved from theoretical physics to tangible, working prototypes. Artificial intelligence has been the hottest topic for the past two years, and honestly, quantum computing will make AI look insignificant. Quantum computing could completely rewrite and redesign every technology we have today. Quantum computing has been a popular topic on Wall Street in recent weeks due to updates from several companies. In December 2024, Alphabet's Google subsidiary announced its latest quantum computing chip, Willow. They estimate this processor will allow us to solve highly complex problems in under five minutes, a task that would take today's fastest supercomputers an estimated 10 septillion years. As those events unfolded, quantum computing stocks D-Wave, IonQ, and Regetti Computing initially soared, then declined sharply when the CEOs at NVIDIA and Cisco estimated earlier this month that useful quantum computing is about two decades away. The announcement saw a massive drop in quantum stocks. However, it's proof that NVIDIA's CEO recognizes quantum computing as a player and competitor capable of disrupting the industry. To supercharge your portfolio, I'm covering the top six quantum computing stocks with good intrinsic value. And by super, I mean super. My goal is that half of these stocks will double in the next few years. I hope you appreciate my style, but please give me a like, subscribe, and share this video to help YouTube recommend it to others looking for similar opportunities. First, in my opinion, investing in quantum computing can be approached by focusing on three key areas, the architects. These companies are at the forefront of developing physical quantum computers and will see the most significant initial growth in stock price. The integrators. This group focuses on creating the infrastructure that supports quantum computing, including software and hardware solutions that bring the technology to life. I'd expect them to see more growth and momentum once the technology becomes more mainstream. The facilitators. These service providers offer access to quantum computing resources via cloud platforms, enabling broader utilization without requiring everyone to buy a quantum computer. I expect this group to see massive growth later on and have the most extended growth trajectory. We've created this framework to help me understand how each company contributes. By targeting investments across these areas, you can gain exposure to the comprehensive growth and development within the quantum computing industry. I'll discuss each of these companies, their roles in these growth areas, and how some overlap in more than one, which is good. At the end of the video, you'll know the best quantum computing stocks for those who prefer to invest in individual stocks or ETFs. Let's begin with our architects, starting with D-Wave Quantum Ticker QBTS. D-Wave Quantum Systems, QBTS, may not be as well known as some of its peers, but like QUBT, its shares have soared this year, rising more than 1,000%, including gains of almost 750% over the past two quarters. While the stock trades below $10 per share, bullish sentiment from Wall Street has risen. For example, Benchmark recently raised its price target to $8 from $3. QBTS has already surpassed that target. The Street's Rob Lenahan reports that Benchmark said it believes the company's recent balance sheet recapitalization, a decision that companies often make to stabilize their capital structure, eliminates much of the risk discount that has remained an overhang since its public debut following a meeting with D-Wave CFO, John Markovich, during Benchmark's discovery conference. Since it decided to recapitalize in 2022 through a business combination with DPCM Capital, D-Wave has raised $75 million through an at-the-market equity offering. It also reported a 41% year-over-year increase for QZS revenue for Q3 2024, while fiscal revenue for the year increased 11%. Like rival quantum computing, it's losing money. 
Last quarter, its loss per share was $0.09. Cents. Analysts remain bullish on QBTS stock for 2025, though, predicting revenue of $15.07 million, a 64% increase from last year. For other Wall Street firms maintain a buy rating for D-Wave with no holds or sells. Its market cap has swelled to $2.47 billion, giving D-Wave a price-to-sales ratio of 168. The next is an intrinsic value stock. Only a few are looking at and talking about this quantum computing company. But do you always need to follow the crowd? The answer is no. Welcome to the Qualcomm Incorporated ticker. Qualcomm shows promising projections for 2025, supported by its market position and analyst forecasts. The stock currently trades around $174.36, and analysts provide a 12-month average price target of $207.25, representing an 18.86% upside. Forecasts range from a conservative low of $160 to an optimistic high of $270. In 2025, Qualcomm's revenue is expected to grow by 11%, reaching $43.24 billion, with additional growth anticipated in subsequent years. EPS is projected to rise by 27.35% in 2025 to $11.42, reflecting strong profitability trends. The consensus is predominantly positive, with most analysts recommending a buy. While a few hold ratings exist, only a minimal number suggests selling the stock. Qualcomm continues to lead in wireless technology innovation, particularly in 5G chipsets, positioning it well for future demand growth. Looking closely at the risk, macroeconomic factors, such as global supply chain issues and competition in the semiconductor space, could create headwinds. The broader trajectory indicates Qualcomm's stock may surpass $200 by the end of 2025, with more substantial growth expected in 2026 and beyond. If you're considering an investment, the stock's moderate risk profile and growth potential make it a compelling option for a balanced portfolio. The next best value quantum computing stock pick is IonQ Incorporated ticker IonQ. A noted quantum computing hardware and software producer, IonQ hasn't surged by as much as quantum computing or D-Wave. However, shares are still up 250% for the year, and experts remain bullish on its growth prospects. D.A. Davidson recently initiated a buy rating for IONQ and set a bullish $50 price target. Lenahan notes that D.A. Davidson believes IONQ represents a compelling pure-play investment position to capitalize on quantum computing's rapid growth, driven by the increasing inadequacy of classical computing for solving complex problems. As its name implies, IONQ's work centers around trapped ion technology, in which ionized atoms perform quantum computations. These atoms have gained or lost electrons, leading to a net electrical charge. Experts have described IonQ's core technology as highly scalable, noting its ability to perform the increasingly complex calculations that leading tech companies require. Additionally, it allows businesses and researchers to access quantum resources more efficiently, granting it an edge over competitors. Over the past quarter, Wall Street has given IonQ 4 by ratings and one hold rating. The company reported $12.4 million in revenue for Q3 2024, which is 102% year-over-year growth. Analysts predict that 2025 revenue will reach $84.75 million, a gain of nearly 100%. This company's list of partnerships with clients includes Amazon Web Services and the United States Air Force Research Lab. The company recently announced a partnership with engineering firm Ansys to bring quantum computing to the $10 billion computer-aided engineering market. Last quarter, IonQ lost $0.12 cents per share. Its market cap is $10.3 billion, giving it a price-to-sales ratio of 267. The next three picks are great intrinsic value stocks suitable for any portfolio type, whether ETF or single holding. But before then, please support this channel with a like subscribe, and share if you're new here. This will help YouTube recommend my video to more persons looking for similar opportunities. Next up, Quantum Computing. The company has the same name as its field and has enjoyed an outstanding year. Quantum Computing, QBT, stock gained almost 2,000% in 2024, rising from less than $1 per share to more than $18 in only a few months. 
Stephen Guilfoyle is a veteran Wall Street trader whose career began on the New York Stock Exchange floor in the 1980s. In a post for the Street Pro, Guilfoyle revealed he owns QBD stock. On December 24, he highlighted the company's growth potential. Quantum computing, QUBT, is expected to grow revenue 167% for the current quarter, 40% for the full year, and 200% next year. In November 2024, Guilfoyle noted that he had been trading QUBD because of its favorable price action, highlighting that the sector could be poised to take off. He acknowledges that the stock remains a purely speculative play, but sees growth potential for the sector accelerating. Overall, he thinks the industry will be a 2026 or 2027 story. While that may be true, the company isn't currently profitable, and there's no telling when it might be. Quantum Computing's most recent quarterly earnings report revealed a loss per share of $0.06 cents on revenue of less than $200,000. In 2025, it's only expected to generate revenue of $1.5 million, yet its market cap is $2.25 billion following its meteoric run-up. With that being said, let's welcome two more potential quantum computing market winners on the list. Regetti Computing Another 1,000% return club member in 2024 is Regetti Computing ticker RGTI. Regetti Computing's stock price is up almost 1,900% in the past year. It develops quantum integrated circuits, a key component for quantum computers, which may be a highly lucrative niche. Additionally, its technology combines the elements of quantum and classical computing and can easily integrate with a client's current technology infrastructure. In December, Craig Hallam issued a buy rating for Regetti and set a $12 price target, which the stock has already exceeded. It trades at more than $19 per share after surging more than 564% in the past month. Other Wall Street banks remain highly bullish on RGTI. It has six buy ratings for the past quarter, with no holds or sells. The company reported revenue of $2.38 million, which brought its revenue for the year to $11.89 million, a decrease of 19%. Additionally, Regetti's balance sheet shows $22.49 in debt and only $20.29 in cash and equivalents. That takes us to Alphabet, Google's parent company. Though it isn't regarded purely as a quantum computing stock, but Alphabet ticker Google significantly advanced this year with Willow, its state-of-the-art quantum computing chip, which stands to significantly impact multiple areas of technology through its advanced computational power. As The Street's David Deerking notes, if this chip becomes practical and stable at any point in the near future, we could be looking at considerable advances in everything from medicine to scientific research to mathematics to exploration. Deerking highlights the Defiance Quantum ETF, QTUM, as an excellent way to play the quantum market following Google's willow progress. Google is still considered a strong buy on Wall Street, not just because of its quantum computing exposure. It's also a major player in AI thanks to its large language model, Gemini, and a Goliath in search and entertainment. 25 analysts currently rated as a buy, while only six maintain hold ratings. Note, don't caution to the wind. The share prices of these six quantum computing stocks have surged over the past year, so it's important to exercise some caution. Quantum Computing Incorporated, founded in 2018, is still in an early stage of development. D-Wave only began trading on the stock exchange in 2022. These companies show little revenue and are still losing money. As such, traditional valuation metrics may not apply to them as they do for larger, more established stocks making these stocks challenging to assess correctly. Tech stocks often trade at a price-to-sales range of 10 to 20 and are often seen as bargains when their PV ratios are either near 5-year lows or below 20. These stocks boast ratios much higher than that. I think I have identified quantum computing as a stronger play than D-Wave and therefore have more exposure there, but we really do not know who the winners will be. Share your favorite pick in the comments section below. If you find this helpful, please remember to share, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more insight. See you in the next video.